Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. We have a special guest. Heck yeah. It is so good to be back, guys. It is Mr. X here coming at you. Man, yeah. this, is, this is all week you've been coming back. You know what? You guys have been gracious, good hosts as well. I really do yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, we got good it. tea here. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you very Serve much. Serve up hot tea on the Crazy Town you Podcast. You do. It's good tea, good coffee, you know, I... The, the 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 service staff is fantastic. Yeah, the, the handmade donut holes. Did That's you right. Yeah, those? yeah. Those the helicopter good. pad on the roof. Oh, that was yeah. nice. We yeah. watched one land right on top of you earlier, Mister X. I appreciated that. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Anyways, so I uh, I don't follow the NBA anymore. I used to when I was younger. Um, so I guess there's like there's a new like uh, Nikola Jokic. I don't know if that's the how Joker. You... Joker, Dude, yeah, he's a beast. This man, he's insane. Like I saw him, he does sense. not look like an, a superstar NBA. No. He's just tall, white, lanky, just like yeah. But this dude, bro, he he's did insane. a thirty twenty ten yes playoff game in the yes. finals. Yeah, first time it's ever been done. Yeah, he's had two of no. Wait, sorry, I misspoke. He is resp- three of the five thirty twenty ten games ever. 30 points, 20 yeah. rebounds, 10 assists. He's had two of them this playoffs. Yeah. The only other two people to ever do one, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem yeah. Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. This man has done two wow. this year. Bro, it's impressive. This guy is insane. And when you watch him play, it doesn't even feel... Effortless. It doesn't feel impressive. It doesn't yeah. feel impressive until you look at the end of the game and you're like, oh my God, this guy is getting a triple-double every single game. Every single yeah. game. He's like, it, what they say is that he has a play style that is the most efficient play style they've ever seen a person do at his uh, at his position. I believe he's a power forward or now, a center. Now, he plays for the Nuggets. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. He yep. plays All right. For now, how much, and I know, and again, I know, I know less about the NBA than you do, so how much of that is because he plays for the Nuggets and, he, and he's just getting the ball all the time? Is that how it works or no? I, I have no idea. I'm just get, asking. Uh, uh, the star I, player for bad teams doesn't necessarily. I mean, LeBron took the Cavs to the finals in like his early years and they got swept 0-4 by the Spurs. Like, right, right, like yeah. I mean, you can be the best player in the league <laughs> yeah, that's true. and still that's get your true. ass whooped that's by true. a good yeah. team. That's I don't true. know if we can call them a bad team. And I'm like, no, I'm, no, they're good. I mean, yeah. They're, yeah, we, they're good. I know very little about basketball either. It's kind of what I hear haphazardly through podcasts I listen to. But because, I mean, they're in the finals. I, don't right. know, I think the finals oh. might even be over by the time. Uh, this, this yeah, but out. I don't know. Yeah, I so don't know congratulations what. to the Denver Nuggets. Wow, that, <laughs> that go is, Nugs, go Nugs. But yeah, I just couldn't believe. I didn't realize. I knew he was good, and I heard he was like this new like second coming of like the best player ever. Oh, he's insane. And I, when I saw that he had three three of those games, and only two others have ever been done ever, and they were by yeah. Wilton Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I was like, oh, yeah. this guy's really good. So, yeah. so have you watched him play TNT? I've seen clips of him. Okay. I've seen clips, and it's it's impressive. I, I'd be interested to know, like, based on what we're saying, like, is this dude the next goat? Like, is he yeah. is he gonna like surpass LeBron if he doesn't and, or hurt? Jordan? Right? I, I mean, Jordan wasn't mentioned in anything you just said, right? LeBron's probably had. I mean, just as far as like domination and whatever, yeah. LeBron's yeah. dominated more than Jordan did, probably. Yeah, statistically, LeBron is the best player to ever play the game. Statistically. Yeah, so he's yeah. leading. He's leading in scoring currently, and he's not done. I mean, well, yeah, by by as far as like he, championships he and done. pure domination, but Jordan was also so ahead of his time. He dominated way more than LeBron ever really did over one player. Yeah, so uh, Jordan Jordan is the most successful, I would say. Yeah, but so are, are we going to be having this conversation with with uh, this new guy? The, the only problem Definitely. is he's really tall. And big guys that are really tall tend to have leg breakdown issues. That's true. That aren't like can't last as long. Yeah, I think he's like exceptionally tall, like six six, six seven. You're like once you get, I think he's like seven foot or taller. Like once you hit that like super tall, right? You you tend to like Manute Bowl. Like he was great, but like he couldn't. He was so tall and lanky, like he just broke down. Yeah, Yao Yao Ming. Ming. Yeah, the other one, they just can't. I don't know how tall he is. I'm gonna look it up. So now. yeah, that's 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 definitely an issue. Um, but yeah, he is he is definitely in the competition now. He's six eleven. Um, he's also pretty new. He's he's only been in the league for I think like two or three years now. And he came from another country, right? Is yeah. It, okay. Yeah, I don't know where he's from. Actually, I'm looking um, at his stats right now. He was say, actually drafted in the second round. He wasn't even a, a star prospect. They just, no, no. Oh, there's actually a finals game on right now. Yeah, it's it, it's hard. Like if you watch him play, it's hard to even like see. Like, like the, of course he's scoring points. He's right. hitting his shots. Right. You know, he's getting in there. He's scoring two points, laying. But it's just hard to see where he's getting okay, the value. He is, but he's constantly uh, he's getting six, value. Se- six eleven, two eighty four. That's not that tall, honestly. Okay. Okay. But I mean, 
seven. That's one inch away from seven foot. That's that's, that's the danger zone. In the for, NBA, that's not that tall though. Uh, but seven foot's kind of that age where athletes that age that range where athletes break yeah. down if they're that tall. Anyways, yeah. he, it's his seventh season. He's from Serbia. It's Serbia. He's, he's okay. been seven seasons. All yeah. Right, well, I'm wrong. Yeah. So we when I I I, I was on a pa- podcast earlier this week with you guys and we talked about these like eight to ten foot. Like aliens. <laughs> is, is this do we think? Do we think? Because this dude kind of came out of nowhere, right? Like no aliens? one had ever heard of him until like this year, or I mean, I've never heard of him talked about until you know a couple month ago. Man, you're not even wrong. Look, I think that it is ignorant to know to think that you know everything. So anything is possible. okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That, that's is, that's a, that's, a, that's a valid answer. He came down on a spaceship, morphed yeah. into a humanoid. Well, we've been growing them on an island somewhere, right? And they're yeah. like, it's, oh, yeah, it's quote, quote, Serbia. Growing you know? them on Epstein Island. Just... <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know, man. No, no, not <laughs> no, going there again. I, uh, Never. So they I, just sold Epstein Island. Did you hear about this? I, I did not. Did you see? I saw a video online I, of some I would not guy who supposedly that. went to Epstein Island on what? a boat. Say, say that again? Uh, I saw a video. There was this guy who supposedly, like, took a boat out to Epstein Island and, like, was like, this is where the such and such happened. And then, like, so and so, like, a security, oh, they're like, <laughs> Come back! He's like, you're not gonna catch me. He's like running away from them on the island. Everything was all boarded up and stuff. On I don't know how it was probably fake, but they just was, they, yeah, but they did. They just sold Epstein Island. Uh, I don't know who bought it. I don't know what their plans are with it. Uh, I know that it cost a bunch of money. It's, I mean, it's gonna coming to a Marriott near you. I would I mean, buy uh, an island. Would you guys buy an island if you I had would, enough money? Absolutely. Would you name it Epstein Island no. if you bought it? No. Change the name immediately. No, no. no. I, I would, wouldn't want Epstein Island. That's I just would, too what much would I call it? Lolita Island? No, get the f- out of that here. That was the real name of the no. island, by the way. I'm sorry, what? It's, no. It was the, really the name of the island. No, it wasn't. Was it was. It? <laughs> it Dear Barbara. Was. Like that, they, oh, was. that's terrible. It is awful. It's yeah. an awful thing that he did. So, if you had your own island, and 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 I've looked at islands it? before, like just for fun, like like looking at like, hey, how like much, how much would it like, be? They're not that much, like just yeah. an island it's just by itself. The logistics of getting the stuff to it's it, the logistics and find you know power and getting something constructed there, right? It's you got to boat easy. all the wares there, to, like, every build and the any- people to build it and all the things, right? But but yeah, like. To buy an island, it's a couple hundred grand. You can buy a, a decent island, but it's just empty with no no infrastructure. It is, and it's going to be in some weird third world government, right? It's like not like yeah, you're off the coast of Ethiopia and like a little like wait, there's like, like there's like laws when you have your own island. Well, the, like, they're, most of them are tr- territories of some country, right? Like they're off know. some, so they're still a part of it. But yeah, you own it. You don't get to. Co- I don't think. I mean, I don't. I'm sure there maybe there are some that yeah. Are, there's no sovereignty. road there. There's no power. There's mm-hmm. no running water. There's no resources, so if you want to build a house, it's not as prime a territory as you would think it would be. No, it's it, yeah. it's not. I mean, because I need like a CVS, right? Yeah, you're out on your island. You forget milk. You gotta take your private jet back to the states, bro. Yeah, you. So you gotta have serious money to have an island that you did like like that, right? Yeah. yeah, you can own it, but you gotta have serious money to have something on it. So like, really, it, really yeah. the money is just like setting up the infrastructure. The procurement the of yeah. everything is the problem. Everything, right? Yeah. I mean that's why everything in Hawaii is cheap and that's a god or expensive and that's a goddamn state. Yep, yeah. that's true. It's hard to get. You can't get anything there. They don't make much there. Yeah, yeah everything is imported. Everything. Because yeah. you buy an island, there's no electricity, there's no phone, there's no wow, nothing. Yeah, that that, that no bridge to get I mean, to the you, land. You're like you're like Tom, uh, Tom Hanks on on Castaway, right? You yeah. show up on an island, there's nothing there. It's almost like a video game. You start with nothing and see what you build. I guess. Yeah, it's like real life Minecraft. Yeah, It'd be there you nice go. to own an island, though, and like just take your boat out there, have like a house out there with How a you stock. Get a house out there. Well, I mean, you know, once you get everything set up, but just like I have an house with like a stocked fridge. Oh, can you imagine being go like it's your island and no one else is on it? Oh, that, you, don't like, want you, to be you there? put that on your Tinder profile. Yeah, right. <laughs> Like, hey, girl, you want to come to my island? <laughs> that, that will not get you any dates. I, I don't know. Like it it, it, it sounds a little creepy, little yeah. Buffalo Billish. I'm going to be yeah, honest. Yeah. There's a yeah. pit on my island. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> take this lotion with you. <laughs> there's some implications involved if you take a girl to your personal island. Yeah, you would think. I mean, yeah. implications. There's definitely some implications. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want an island. I mean, that's like billionaire-ish. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. see a point in owning an island. Um, I don't really. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, really we talked about this with the procurement issue there, Mister X. We that, talked about we talked about it yesterday. It's it's a lot of work to have money. 
So it is. it's a lot of work to have money. Yeah, that's more work. If you got an island, you got to go employ people and all. Yeah, it's, it's a lot you of work. You pay your entourage to build your island. <laughs> you guys go live on the island. You're going to need a better entourage than me. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to build you an your island. island. I don't care how much you pay me. Well, even yeah, if you pay right. me enough, I wouldn't know how. So it would just be like, You oh, show up, oh. there's just like a shack made of like bamboo like, rods. Hey, like, I got these cardboard off Amazon. And Amazon will deliver to my island. Yeah, that's it. They These will. also figure it out. Yeah, they will. If you pay enough. Is, is that in your Prime membership? Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, does, does Bezos to, fly over in, a, in one yeah, of the Jonas, prime jets? JonasIsland.com. Yeah, I guess I can't be mad at that. If you told me, hey, TNT, go build an island, you're like, money's not an option. I guess I could, you make enough phone calls, you could figure out how to get it done. Yeah, yeah. Well, Take I mean, me a couple of weeks. People obviously do it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah it's, you got to call some shipping companies, have everything delivered, send mm -hmm. the contractors out there. Like, I would probably start with a real estate agent. Be like, I want to build an island. How do I do it? It'd be like, I don't yeah. know. That there, there, I think there are agents. I want you to ship a house to the See? island, please. See? Ship, buy a house, ship it to my island, put it up. Well, what was it? Uh, I was gonna say. I, I think I saw some somebody did that. They like bought like an old. Was it Epstein or I don't know. Was it bought like an old church or something and like shipped it to the island and rebuilt it? Oh, uh, I mean, it's probably that guy from uh, the 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 antivirus guy, McAfee. Oh, okay. probably, he did some weird, weird ish. That's yep. an yep. idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea, too. If you guys could have like a house, your dream house built in any location, exotic as the case may be, where, where would you choose? Is it the only house I get? Uh, no, it's uh, your, I don't know. My your vacation it's, home? My vacation yeah, home? Yeah, it's a vacation home. Okay. Fair enough. That, that, that's, that's a good question. I'm going to have to say uh, Mount Fuji, Japan. I want to chill out with some I haven't been in enough places to know. In Japan. There's no Tibetan monks in Japan. You don't know about It's my dream home. <laughs> oh, oh sorry. You're going to import the Tibetan monks? <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, you're right. You know what? I, I just I just shat on your dream, and I'm very sorry you're about like, that. You're like, you're wrong. Your dream's wrong. Yeah, you're yeah. Poor. I'm sorry. I, I just, sorry. Me living in Logic Town over here. I'm you sorry. You said you're going to Port Tibetan monks, and that is exactly what I would do. Joss, where, where would you? Go? I don't. I haven't been enough places. Out of the places I have been, which has not been a lot. If you say Texas, I no, swear I was gonna to say uh, Scotland was pretty cool. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. There you yeah, go. I enjoyed like a Scotland. Shire, like under the under yeah, like far enough away that I'm kind of chilling, but like close enough that I can go like enjoy the people because the people were cool. All right. Very cool. But I, I mean, I don't know how much I'd like to live there because I was only there a little so, bit. Just some vacation home. You're yeah, rich. There you go. How about you, uh, I, Mr. X? What do you think? I think I'm, I'm kind of I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm, I'm between like, do I want something tropical or do I want something in the mountains? And I think I'm leaning towards like a ranch in the mountains, like just okay. like somewhere close enough to like where I can go skiing, but, but big enough where I don't have to see other people. Oh, nice. And yeah, like that, that sounds just absolutely fantastic. Any, any particular mountains in uh, Colorado, Wyoming, something like that. Not the Appalachians. No, no they're hot. Like, I don't know. It's hot and humid. Yeah, the human mountains. Yeah. yeah. That's the West Virginia. No, definitely, definitely the Rockies, definitely in the U.S. Um, nice. You know, just because, I mean, I don't want to live in some other country. I never see anybody that I knew. I have to go make new friends, and we all know how that would go. You can just go. import your friends. I can import them. I import the monks. <laughs> import well, all your all the monks went to your house, so I don't know who else to. <laughs> so you, bring, you import your friends. Yeah, so. That's right. Just buy new friends. <laughs> that's right, yeah, and learn to speak their language, whatever yeah. it is. All right. Well, that's all time we have today's episode. It's been great to have you with us, Mr. X. It has been great. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate the, yeah, uh, the invitation. And, uh, go to thecrazydown.com for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Uh, we are out.